Well, well, well. Hello, everyone. Goku here, and welcome back to another episode of Manor Lords. To another beautiful video, another gameplay of this ex phenomenal game. We're right here where we left it. We're walking, you know, among our citizens. Everything is looking fantastic, phenomenal. Look at that. Our city is. Look at that. Just look at them with the with their fields and the spears and everything. Our beautiful city is growing fantastic. Gonna get out of this view mode. And let's go back to our second region that we claimed during the last episode. Here, a lot of things are happening. Very interesting. First thing that we actually uh, we have to notice here is that we are building five burgage plots to take care of holdlessness. And the other thing that we actually did was build a hunting camp somewhere here. <laughs> there it is. It's right here. And what th one thing that we actually need to do is rename our region. And we're going to call it White Orchard. If you actually I like it all in capital letters. Yeah, I like it that way. Then we change Novigrad if we need to to all capital letters. But White Orchard, I don't know if you get the, the reference, but if you don't... It's from another beautiful game to RPG. Not a city builder this time, but a RPG. Op uh, not open war. Is it open war? Yeah, it's open war. No big brother, it is. It's in all capital letters. Perfect. All right, let's see what we what we need to do here. Uh, White Orchard is running out of food. Is Are they? I mean, obviously, they might, but uh, we just need to increase that production. Obviously, the berries are somewhere here. We can start assigning people to the very hot or we can build a very hot but for now we're not gonna do it because we need uh you know we need a lot of families here in order for us to actually start getting more uh buildings up and running but for now we're gonna leave it as this we're gonna wait for the burgers plus to get built and we're gonna go back to our main city novigrad in this city we have plenty of stuff going on here the yield so far is five there's 106 days to harvest season uh that's something that uh it's gonna be fantastic once we are harvested harvesting because we're gonna be able to use the the windmill and the communal oven and let's revisit what we're doing here remember we're doing sidearms because we need to fill these militia footmen and we're doing uh small shields let's take a look at the, how we're doing here 11 and 21 so we're doing great one thing that we can actually do is start thinking about upgrading some of these houses to level two it's gonna upgrade some of them a couple of them might not hurt us and then this guy upgraded to something else and that's something else we can either do we were discussing the idea of doing a fletches workshop or or to to make some war balls, balls. but we gotta do be mindful of uh of this stone here they're not the stone but rather the timber because we don't have that plenty uh and planks and whatnot we're probably gonna need to assign another family here although this is at full capacity right let's take a look here what are we missing here or maybe another family here might not hurt and then obviously we can actually assign an ox uh actually we need uh oh, that, that got built here we can actually buy a ox and keep it here and then that way we can have a family there you know running that uh, department or that small stable at a you know constant basis all right so what we're gonna do here is hmm decisions right i really want to go for either shoes the cobblers or the fletcher it's gonna do hmm it's gonna do fletcher that way we have enough uh war bows. now we do have to be mindful of the planks again uh let's see how soppy is working I wonder if we need another family there. I wouldn't mind assigning another family there, to be honest. Because it looks like uh, Timber is playing field. As, you know, obviously, it says generic store is full. Here, for some reason. Remember, we are not taxing the people. In fact, we need the people to start generating more money. And then we are for the tithe. The tithe is the... So, by the way, somebody posted a comment. I appreciate the comment in the last video. It's, um, you know, providing some knowledge. You know, in this channel, we absolutely love knowledge. Oh, where did I go? Okay, we absolutely love, love knowledge here. And uh, the tithe is the 10th 
the tenth of a fraction, I guess, a ten percent. So at eight percent, it's not a tithe. A ten percent is a tithe. That's what actually was told. I mean, we were told in one of the comments in the last video. Appreciate whoever posted that uh, comment. All right, remember one thing that we did in the last episode was also uh, a a ship form. That's something that we absolutely need to take care of. But one thing that we basically need to wear right now is more families. As you saw there, I assigned someone to the small stable. I thought we had two families, but I oh, guess remember, we upgraded this house to a fleshing shop. We don't get the family. So basically, they stop being a worker and they become an artisan. I did see that we got new families apparently here, but nothing too crazy. It says that the family members join one of the sellers in White Orchard, but uh, we have not received anything yet. So I guess we just need to play the wait time here. This is going to go away once all the families move to the to the spot. Looks like we have a single ox and we can buy another one probably later on. So we just not got to wait here in this city. We're just playing the wait game for now. Once we have a better understanding of what's going to happen here or for the families, how many families are going to be joining, then we can actually start planning ahead. But for now, we're going to keep it as is. We do need to uh, rush a little bit. Look at that. These guys almost uh, taking the last available region. Meaning that if we want to take another region, uh, we're going to need to claim claim it with double the amount of influence. In this case, 2,000. All right. Settlement level increase. We are now a large village and we can actually assign a point to something. Right now, we are absolutely uh, struggling with food. So we can actually double the amount of meat harvested by hunters. We don't need hides. We can actually do beekeeping, which is something that we haven't done yet in any of our runs. Uh, look at, we can, you know, unlock the bakery extension, which I'm not going to do right now because I don't think that's a necessity uh, because it, it's going to remove a family member from the workplace and assign it to, and I don't think how good they, how fast they make bread, so... We can we can do that later but look at this we can actually use fallow fields as pasture which rapidly restores lost fertility but i think i'm thinking here definitely going into one of these departments right here let's go ahead and do the beekeeping let's go ahead and do the piery and see how it goes where is it i want to build it workers collect honey every region can sustain up to two appears by default placing more will not increase yields obviously we got to build it very close to the farm we can actually you know mimic or simulate that placing it next to our fields obviously this is not going to be for them but um, i don't know if you play uh, farming simulator when you place honey or bees next to i believe the sunflower field it increases the yield pollination they call it pollination you're gonna place the prairie next to the farm and actually we can build two right but we don't we, we don't need to build two at all we can do it with, with one, but I can actually want to do a row here, something like that, and then eventually place a second one here in the in the future, right there. But for now, we're going to keep it as is. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we're trading and what we need to start selling in quantities. Probably nothing, right? I don't think I don't I don't see anything that you know that can be sold as of right now, or that should be sold. Route required, we need to buy that in order to trade then. Maybe tools in the future, we'll see. Uh, right now, I don't know what the tools are used for. Uh, I, I think we've uh, read about it, if, did we not? Let's see, resources, let's see, tools. So I don't know if we started with five. Yeah, it looks like uh, we don't have a way to know. It doesn't say here, tools, there it is. Generic storage, building producers. Yeah, there's nothing being said here for the tools but i'm assuming it has to be built used for the builders or some, or some other buildings you know uh or other other workplaces all right right now so everything here is looking great I'm, uh, let's take a look here we have three family members or three families full families harvesting berry deposit super fast uh we need to increase okay so the problem here that we're facing now is the fuel instead of the food 
But why is that though? We can assign another family here, but the problem that I'm seeing though, I'm not gonna lie, I think the problem is not having enough uh, movement or logistics here. So that makes me wonder, do we have to have more families here? Or do we have to have more families here? I have a feeling that another hitching post might actually not be a bad idea. I'm gonna place another family here and see how it goes. We might actually need to buy a ox here in a minute. All right, look at that. We actually built our first apiary. Our look at that. Look at those bees right here. It's gonna it's gonna be the beekeeper. We'll see, right? But let's go ahead and uh, that's firewood stall is because we actually place someone there. All right, so these guys are low in food, tremendously low in food. So right, once we have these things here, so what do we say is like we were going to build a church here and then let's kind of utilize this area for more burgage plots. We're gonna build at least two more. How big are they? Oh, look at that. Three families. I'll take that. I'll take that size. And then the these guys, where do we have these guys caught in? It doesn't say here, but let's go. Yeah, let's go and move it over here. Somewhere here. I think we have them here. I think but let's put them over here. Timber plus six or times six. I like that uh, multiplier there. Let's get, get rid of these bushes here. Make our CD, our second CD, White Orchard, look great. There you go. And then it looks like that building got removed because everybody now is live. It's you know it's living a house. So what do we have here? We have a stone a storehouse. We have a hitching post. We have a granary, which needs someone there. What else do we have? Okay. Oh look at that. We actually I don't know. It looks like uh oh okay the beekeeping is required here. Okay. Where do we? What route do we want to take here now? We wanna. We're probably gonna take these because we have quite a lot of. Uh, we have a rich. As you can see here, we have a rich deposit of animals. So we, that's probably what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go to trap here, give a passive income, and then what we're gonna do is where's the? Yeah, this building. I keep losing this building. I'm telling you. But this is the road. There is a building right here. If I can find it, there it is. And then we're probably gonna need to assign an extra person here, which I don't mind at all. Because we have uh trying to move this building, but the it's not letting me move it. Uh so basically we have 40, looks like we have 40 uh animals and still 40. So we're probably gonna need to have another family there. Now, is this an upgrade? Or it's just probably something that they do passively, like as you say, which I give a passive income of meat. That's great. These this uh, uh, city is going to rely fully on meat and probably some farming. Uh, the problem with farming is that we already talked about it. It's horrendous, the the fertility. So maybe farming and, and berries. We'll see where it goes. But we just need for people to move in here and then see how it goes. We got to be very, very careful, though, because uh, winter is coming. So we got to be ready for winter once it arrives. All right, back to Novigrad. Welcome back. <laughs> all right so we are in summer yields uh, uh crops are being uh you know they're growing right now i'm thinking maybe we can actually throw oh look at that we have four of them we can actually buy an extra one here's what we're gonna do we're gonna buy an extra one and then wait uh, for the trader to come in here does it get added no so what i'm thinking here we have a livestock assigned here we probably on assign that one i'm probably gonna assign a new a a brand new one there that way i don't know if it works that way but that way the livestock trading post is the one is the is the ox that's being gets used by the farm let's see going back to rest okay so and who's who's here what's the name of the ox Dietz. we have a deed somewhere yeah Dietz is here so they rest here okay then the fourth one that we acquire a guide is coming okay somebody's gonna guide it and use it for whatever they need but yeah our main goal here is to you know clear this space i mean we have plenty of timber in here and then once it gets full i'm assuming the woodcutters don't don't work anymore so 
something we definitely need to consider here. Look at that. Uh, that's in Obigrad. Construction for burger's block. Let's go ahead and throw the apiary here. Let's throw a beekeeper. What's the name of that family? And we see the Fritz, the Agnes, and the Albrecht family. Going home, crafting, and the sun. Take a look at their home. There you go. Our beekeepers. A round of applause for our beekeepers. <laughs> but yeah. Fuel is becoming an issue. Which is the first time we have this issue though. So planks are being produced. You know, firewoods are probably are getting produced. But not as often as we want them to be. So we can either... Because I saw someone installed or created or, you know, built a firewood marketplace store right here. So... I don't think that's actually needed. I think what we need is to make more firewood. For that, we just need to wait for more families. We have 80 families here, one extra house. So we probably want to increase and throw another set of uh, burgers plot, or maybe a couple of them. We don't want to go to bananas here. Uh, we're just going to let them run as is. Let's throw a, a couple here with extension. Always with extension, guys. We can never build one without extension i mean we could but it's not ideal let's go about a couple there and then while they work here we're gonna go back to white orchard and see how they do in here all right so it says that uh we have seven families although i don't know we have seven living spaces 15 total people um we just need for these families to get their stuff here so what we're gonna do in the meantime let's go ahead and throw and build some vegetables gardens here and then we're gonna do chicken we're gonna do chicken coops and the reason why is because we need we need food i don't, I don't think this city is gonna be a very very uh, prospering food i think they're gonna struggle a little bit because we don't have farming here all we have is a lot of animals but that also runs out and we just need people right gonna speed up time here and see what else what happens here what else can we build what else should we build here we already built another hitching post i think another hitching post is it's it's very important or it's it's a main thing that y'all need to build as soon as you start the game because we've we've seen it right we've seen where logistics is very 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 important in this game as a matter of fact another thing that we can actually do is start mining some of this iron deposit and uh, clay deposit Clay is going to be very, very important once we start upgrading these guys to Burger's level 3. We have only 147, but the city next White Orchard will be trading in and out. That's another thing that we can look into. Uh, build a, a, what do they call it here? A pack station. The pack station is basically responsible for trading between our regions. Employ mules, uh, mules to transport up to 20 goals, uh, goods per trip. I don't know what we're going to be trading yet. Probably food in the future. But I'm not going to be worrying about that as of right now. These guys are working the mines slowly but secure. You know what I mean? They're always bringing some stuff in. Which is nice. Very important. Obviously, the tithe. You might think, okay, why gold coin? Why you don't move the tithe and make it you know, less? That way you don't use a lot of uh, food. The thing is, the problem is not the food now. The problem is the fuel. So theoretically what we can do is remove someone here right and place it here and see how it goes right we can do that and see how we can test it because now we remember we're now producing or harvesting some honey uh, which is not shown here yet but uh, it'll show up once they do their first batch look at the water on the roads looks fantastic does it not speed of time here what who else can be upgraded I mean, we can upgrade some of these guys. These guys are, uh, hmm. are they not making. I thought they were making some. Uh, yeah, Fletcher shop. Oh, they just make it and, and that's it. Let's see how many. How many? Uh, Warbles. We have twenty one. We are plenty for. I mean, we have plenty of those. It looks like small shields are actually good to go. We have thirty six. I mean, forty four out of thirty six. So we're gonna go back to start producing wooden parts. If things go too out of hands, we can pause this building and, you know, stop making some uh, anything that's being made here. But yeah, I like what I'm seeing here. As a matter of fact, all we need to do is wait for the 
or more people, first of all. <laughs> and then, uh, well, how many? 15? 15 sidearms. And then warbows, we can actually add a archer militia here if we want to, but not yet. What we can do in the meantime is... I think it hopefully it doesn't require nice it doesn't require a a trade route so let's go ahead and clear this out let's go ahead and have five in store just in case but let's go ahead and explore as much as possible that way our people uh get the benefit of the regional wealth see any bandit camps around no no bandit camps let's see here novigrad novigrad white orchard nothing going on here it seems like no people's coming new no families i wonder if we can export and import families or not export i mean you don't export and import uh, people oh that's rude of me it's just you know just relocating them and then we'll believe me we'll pay very well if they want to relocate we'll pay for the relocation fees and whatnot you know how it is we're very gentle in this channel all right but uh, as soon as uh as soon as some a farm is concerned all we need is food and then uh I mean, obviously, the appear it looks like it's, it's, uh, yeah, it looks like it's unlocked, but it's not. And then look at that. We have to unlock the Charcoal King, which is also going to be way better than firewood, but it converts one firewood into two charcoal. We'll keep that in mind. I'm assuming that's going to be somewhere here, right? Deep mining. Look at that. Deep mining. Uh, what else here? Master. We can do helmet on the other CD if we absolutely need to. Better deals. Oh, look at that. It improves the... Remove the tariff from foreign imports. Effectively reducing all import prices by 10. We're not importing anything. We could use these on the other one. On the other city. Firewood card. It generates firewood, uh, I think, right? A permanent market stop which provides a passive income. You see a passive income of firewood. As long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay the transport fee. Must be placed in the marketplace. Okay. Lots of stuff to do. Little time to do it. I always say that. What are these guys doing? Are, are they even are they even hunting anything at all? Because I, they might actually be. I mean, he's hunting some, right? But this is on me. But it's very very minimal. I wonder if because it's too far away from the city, that could be an issue. A uh, worst case scenario, we can just re uh, relocate them over here and see how it, how they do. But I'm, but at the end of the day. Okay, see, overlaps animals, uh, my, uh, they're going to cause a migration, so yeah. But overall, they got to walk, hunt, and come back. So I don't know if there is the best place, but I like it there. We'll see. Once we have a new family, we'll assign them to that place. The first thing we're going to do is actually reach a positive approval. But for now, I think this city is all taken care of for now, right? Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I think we don't need anything else here for now. Now, let's go back to Novigrad. I like these going back and forth. Probably not the most efficient thing to do, but I like, you know, micromanaging everything here, I guess. 33 days. Next month, we're going to be harvesting the wheat and harvesting the wheat here. And then we're going to be producing barley and flax. So we do need to uh, be mindful of that and probably be able to assign families soon as uh oh yeah next month in september so we're probably gonna remove family from somewhere here and then assign them over there new family is moving to novik right there you go where now now that we have a family do we want to assign them right away or do we want to wait I'm probably gonna wait i'm not gonna do anything right now it looks like we got that uh, livestock that we were that we order it's right here doesn't say the name of it though hey what's your name Lawrence, Lawrence, I'm gonna assign you here. Can I assign? Can I assign a, a specific one? No, I don't want deeds here though. I want Lawrence. I don't see. I don't see a way to unassign deeds, but I guess we're just gonna leave it there. And then here, I'm assuming they're gonna be. Yeah, we're good for now. I think uh, we just need to wait. How's the firewood looking like? I mean, theoretically, we can throw another family here. We can put another family in the firewood department, but uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't see it. Uh, the problem is that remember, winter fuel consumption doubles. So 
So if we don't produce fuel in a really fast pace, then we had a big issue here. But the problem is coming from the logistic of bringing logs out of the logging camp into whatever building needs it. Let's go and assign someone else there and see if they can actually increase the firewood production rapidly. They can do it rapid before, you know, the winter's here. Obviously, that's something that we actually need to consider. I don't know if a charcoal will actually produce or provide better fueling system. I would assume so, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to assume stuff here. Deforestation killed berry bushes. What? Whoa, 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 hold on, cowboy. No, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good. I don't know what was the... First, the right now, it looks like we have 112. Oh, wow. Okay, wait a minute. We need a forester hut now to... Yeah, this, this was not good. No, 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 stop. Stop. It's actually really bad. Whatever the, the berries bushes are... There's, a, there's something I did not expect. I wonder if we had them here. We might have, but... Yeah, let's put them far away. Let's not do that. I, let's make sure we have them far away. One thing that we can do is assign a, a livestock here that constantly move things out of the building. Let's see if that actually works or does something. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, we took a big loss there. I call it a big loss because uh, that's actually something i was not expecting good thing is that the harvesting season is around the corner uh, 13 days so we gotta be gonna start moving people out of uh, some of these buildings to prepare them for I'm gonna assign them right away before i forget one there and then and then after after they do that we gotta uh, assign them to the windmill and the communal oven Obviously, all of these requires people, so... No space left for production. Oh, wait a minute. We'll see here in a minute. Once we take care of these. We have one guy here. How many people we have here in the mining department? Do we have enough ore? If we have enough ore, we can actually re... Uh, yeah, we have 53. Let's go ahead and unassign some when they're... And place them here. And let the guys from the iron slab use that ore. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at what you're talking about here. Generic storage, yeah. Hmm. Are we full here? Storehouse. Oh, we don't have anyone assigned. Is that the reason why? Looks like we're not getting anyone here, which is uh, very depressing here. It looks like the city is uh, very quiet, though. Very quiet. Let's see. By now, I would expect uh, more people to arrive, but it looks like uh, we're not getting anyone. And it's raining, too. Yeah, this is this is bad. Uh, this is horrendously bad. I don't know what, what what's going on with them. Why are not uh, moving stuff around? Let's go ahead and remove you from here, and assign you here, and see if that actually improves anything. But um, another thing that we can actually do is assign, or we can start building a just in case, right? Because this city is not going as as good as the other city. We started off uh, badly, seems like. Very hot. I mean, you know, kind of far away, but I kind of want to place it somewhere here and see how it goes. We can move it later on. Well, I kind of want to, you know, stay, keep everything in this area instead of, like, placing it far away from the city. Because I don't know if this is going to be the best location, but you can see here, who's this guy? It looks like a trader, right? Is that a trader? Who are you? Uh, either a trader or, or... Is that the berry guy? No, it looks like a trader. Yeah, it looks like our people either have issues bringing stuff back here. Probably they're too slow. But yeah, this guy definitely needs help here as soon as possible. Look at that. We have only one fuel, one month, and winter is right here. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not right here, but it's literally one season away. Looks like uh, it's time to harvest our fields. Finally, look at that yield. Hopefully, we have uh, enough workforce to start, you know, harvesting everything. Where are they? Oh, there you go. They're coming. I didn't mean to pause the game there. 
Let's say we get another family. I'm going to throw them in here. I really want everything harvested here right now. <laughs> Ready dictatorship right now in this very minimum. Uh, this causes a loss. This burger plus causes a loss approval check. Which one? Is it because food variety, clothing? Oh, look at that food variety. Wow. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it, guys. Give us a minute here. It's like no more, no more berries are available because uh, it's not growing. It's uh, autumn, so we'll we'll get it. Policy is available. Oh no, yeah, we already did that, right? We decided not to lock in early access. Yeah, we decided not to go this because we don't have a rich deposit, and obviously we're not. I mean, theoretically we could do this, but it's gonna decrease. Uh, and food is not an issue right now. It's the fuel that's a very, very, very big issue. I wonder if we can actually know. We cannot upgrade them. All right. So this is good. What I'm seeing here, that's going to improve the the food variety here among all the citizens. So, I mean, remember, we can also throw some of the, some of, uh, oh, yeah. Well, that's one thing we haven't even done here. Oh, yeah. Been very very lacking here. Been slacking here quite a bit. I guess because we didn't have enough regional wealth. But yeah, look at that. Look at that field. Look at that field getting harvested. That's beautiful. They even are using a a ox for that. Beautiful. I thought they were only using it for plowing. All right, let's take a look at white archer. Let's see what's the problem here. Not enough supplies. I know. I know. We're working on it. I mean, they should be working on it though, but. Uh, Literally, we have a big issue here with this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I kind of feel, well, it looks like uh, assigning someone there to the storehouse. That actually made it, you know, made it better. So that's that's good. At least that's uh, something that's being taken care of. But uh, obviously, the very hard needs to be, um, you know, assigned. We need uh, uh, employed. That's the word I was looking for. But uh, without people, we cannot employ anyone. So... Come, 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 guys. You gotta come. Homelessness. Yep. I guess this is uh, just a waiting game for now. Saving finished. Yeah, because look at this. The, the animals are actually reproducing faster than we're hunting them. So, yeah. Probably I need to assign someone else there. Since we don't have a berry situation here, we're probably going to unassign someone there. I'm going to get someone here in the mill right away. It's going to get that mill working because we already have some uh wheat look at that next harvest 56 but i thought we had more yield than that though what's going on here 59 i thought we have like 300 and something what happened there look at that 260 something and then you're saying that we only have uh, 89 unless uh, they move this somewhere uh, the, the a wheat right here now only 176 uh berries which is good work carry is empty what is empty Oh, the stone cutter? Yeah, I don't mind about that. Then, obviously, once they start making some flour, we need someone here in the communal oven. But I really don't want to unassign anyone from here because we definitely need all the firewood we can get. I wonder if some of these guys are able to do firewood, the level 2 ones. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, though. Yeah, we have them as... Uh, what about the... Let's see. Oop. We have 53 war bows. Let's go ahead and stop that production real quick. Gentlemen, yep. Let's go ahead and stop you guys for now. We don't need that for now. And then remember, we're going to add the tavern. We're probably going to be adding this area right here. Maybe next to the manor. Maybe here. I don't mind it here next to the, the, the church. Why not, right? Yeah, right here might be the best option here. But what I was going to do, I was going to actually add vegetable here. And then wooden parts were actually stuck damage by weather. Where is that? Oh my god. How, how much did we get at the end? 131? Ugh. But why did it got bad by the weather? It says you're harvesting, plowing, and sowing crops. I mean, we had three families working on it. Um, wow. I'm very surprised that they were not able to harvest it fully. That's very disappointing. 
gonna keep two families there for their you know to plow and uh, sow the fields for now and then we're gonna assign someone to the communal oven once we start making some flour which should not take l much longer i believe we just gotta let them work on it I'm trying to look for flour but i don't see it anywhere all right let's take a look here at this uh, situation this uh very oh didn't mean to go all the way back it's the present situation here that we're definitely not getting any families i mean theoretically we're gonna assign you from there and then if we absolutely need to let's go and assign someone here because uh i mean we have a lot of fuel so <laughs> fuel we have 12 months but definitely not enough food uh maybe not here let's go and assign them here let's see if two Two families work faster this way to, to get all the meat that we need. But definitely something that we actually need to take care of is how are we going to improve the food situation here. I was going to say we can actually uh, trade it with the other region, with Novigrad. But I don't think that's going to be a really good option here. The reason why I say it though is because, uh, you know, over there, although food might look great. It's not as great as we think, because I mean seven months, but mm, seven months is nothing. I want to see that to ten, and then as, as we add more people, and you know new people are coming into Novigrad, we're gonna definitely report, need more and more stuff. All right, they're plowing the fields. I'm okay with that. Now, do we want to assign someone here in the sheep farm? Probably not yet. I know we built that building, but uh, I don't think we are in the needs of assigning someone there yet. That's basically going to help us do linen and whatnot, and that, that's going to be for uh, clothing. You know, we, that's something that we're going to use eventually. One thing that we can actually do is upgrade these guys, but for upgrade the church, we... Again, we need clay tiles. Or roof tiles, they call it, I believe. I mean, as we get more and more money, we're definitely going to do gardens here. All along. Gardens are probably a couple of eggs. Uh, we have enough people here. Who, who requires people? We can throw another person here. Theoretically, they should be moving stuff around, I'm, ho I'm hoping. Because these guys are, you know, always tucked, always full. So I don't know. I don't know if they're not being used uh, too fast or, or they're calling it. Why are we calling trees over here, though? W what's going on here? I, I did not tell you to go there. I told you to go over here. Get away from the berry deposits here, please. Like, is that them cutting or is that... Uh, that's definitely them cutting. Why, why are you cutting? I don't know what they're cutting over here, but... Hopefully, hmm. That the, the berry deposit doesn't get affected. Because if that's the case, oh boy. Are we going to have an issue here? Alright, so are we producing any... Any flour yet? How many bread have we have we baked so far? Nothing. Interesting. Or are we waiting for a someone here to grab it from there? If, if that's the case, we can assign someone here. But what if they're waiting for someone to grab the wheat from here, bring it to the granary? Yeah, I don't know how logistics work in this game too. I don't know them very very well yet though, because uh, it looks like uh, we're always struggling with logistics. All right, let's take a look at the white orchard one more time see how they're working here obviously not getting anyone looks like food increased by a month which is not bad that means that these guys are hunting in a more rapid pace it looks like yep 39 finally we see it below 40 but for now i think we made you know decent progress i know we didn't you know make a lot of progress here in white orchard due to the lack of uh, newcomers but uh Definitely here in Novigrad, we, you know, harvested our first uh, fields. Uh, you know, our first harvest season happened. Although we haven't produced a single flower yet. I'm assuming that's about to change. But I want to keep it here, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And don't, you know, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the comment. And, you know, hit the button. That like button. Destroy that like button. It helps the channel a lot. And if you have anything to say, just uh, say it in the, in the comment section. All right, guys, have a good night. Have a rest, good rest of your week. See you later. Bye-bye.